Hi everyone, it's Jerry. This is Game 9 from the 2014 World Chess Championship match between Magnus Carlsen and Vishinand. Going into this game, Carlsen has a 4.5 to 3.5 lead. And Carlsen with the white pieces in this one, he opened with e4. We follow Game 7 of this match all the way up to move 10. Once again revisiting the Berlin defense with an early queen exchange. Unlike Game 7, that marathon Game 7 where it lasted 6.5 hours and 122 moves, this one lasted just about one hour. After h5, this is now White's next move. This is where we have an adjustment. In Game 7, we saw Bishop f4, but what's tried now is Knight e2, looking to reposition the Knight into f4, or even d4. Following up, we have b6, looking to throw a question to the knight. And that happens, rook to d1, open file, bishop a6. The main think of the game was right here, really. What exactly to do with the knight? He decides on f4, going elsewhere, such as d4, allowing the knight exchange. Black can follow with c5, this is no Serious threat. In fact, knight c6 at that stage would be a blunder after bishop to b7. Knight f5, there can follow h4. Cramping effect to the white king side. Ideas of rook h5, the knight can be kicked as well. There's no issue whatsoever for black in this position. So he tries knight f4, and after this, the curious move bishop b7, the first, I believe, original position, this one here to play to a6 and now return to b7 what are some subtle ideas behind this when questioned about this idea of bishop a6 and then bishop to b7 in the press conference after this game Anand simply did not want to elaborate of course you could see why as there is still a match going on not wanting to give away um, any details here but something that I can share some insight that I can offer here regarding why you would want to play to a6 and then after the knight is jumping into f4, why do you want to maybe play back to b7? Well, for one, initially, why would you want to play bishop a6 in the first place? Well, it could be related to uh, wanting to gather some more information about the knight's uh, next move. You know, is he going to go to f4? Is he going to go to d4? I'd like to gain a little bit more insight about where exactly he will play. Once he's decided on f4, certainly there's no worry of the bishop coming out to f4 or even g5. And when the bishop returns, one idea that is now available for black is to meet the move a4 with a5. So by returning to b7, you're preparing to meet a4 with a5. Now why is this maybe a big deal? Well, if we just make a passing move, just to illustrate my point here, this a4 idea and then a5 can be quite disruptive to the black side. If the bishop moves a5 and now white gets to open up the a file under white's terms. And this is often a very good position for the white side here to have this tension to know that any black move would be very weakening to move b5 or to leave it sitting again white at any moment can be the one who decides when the queen side opens up i believe black wants to be in a position in other words after bishop to b7 to meet this idea of a4 with a5 shutting it down not giving that type of option to the white side to open up the queen side whenever he wants so after bishop b7 we have e6 position is opening up quite a bit now a liquidated pawn center bishop d6 pawn takes king takes knight g5 check king f6 knight e4 two very tricky knights around the king is quite limited with where he can go he goes here that's a fork it's pretty much locked into going back and forth here and similarly white is in a way locked into going for this draw by perpetual check this repetition of position uh, this is where the game ends after just these 20 moves white decides on 
continually giving checks to the Black King, and he's not going to be so quick. Nand will not be so quick to getting in between the King and the Rook by playing back here. He simply keeps stepping up whenever he's checked. And why exactly is White going for this? Can, not, can White not get more in this position? Well, if White is not careful, if he's trying to get something more, well, there's simply nothing more to get. You can easily turn uh, the worst side if you're trying for something other than this perpetual check at this point, and it's important to realize that much because now you're the side who's slightly worse. Black now has a perfectly secure king, ideally placed, he would have a perfectly secure king, ideally placed on a light square, very strong knight on f5, this pawn having a clamping effect on the g4 advance, he's not going to be kicked away, and notice the backward, the slightly backward development of the white side, there's no way you could claim an advantage for the white side, it's just not there. Uh, trying g4 to kick the knight, well now you're in trouble on the white side, Black is looking for checkmating ideas, and this is simply not a good direction to go in. So, this is really the best that White can do. Unfortunately, you try to press more, but if there's simply nothing more there, then it's, uh, you know, you could easily turn slightly worse if you're not going for this uh, draw by perpetual check here, or this uh, three move repetition. So, this one game, this game here clearly ended quietly. Um, much, much different than the other Berlin defense. Game 7 out of this uh, opening here. This one lasted about one hour. This lasted 20 moves compared with Game 7's 6.5 hour, 122 move encounter. Um, not the most exciting game, clearly, this one here, but I think it only adds to the tension in these ensuing games. What we can say for sure is that this championship will take at least a game 11 before a world champion is decided and i believe it's likely to even uh we're likely to even see a game 12 and how tense that one will be uh well we'll see how this turns out as it stands right now it is 5 points for carlson to 4 and we go into game 10 which is tomorrow november 21st same time 7 a.m. eastern standard time 12 o'clock PM GMT. We'll see how things turn out at that point. So uh, that's all for this video. As always, I hope you got something out of it. Take care. Bye.